tell you about my mom. I love my mom, truly. She's just an older 80s drug dealer. The video brought to you by Century West BMW. Come check us out. We're right over the hill. And ask, ask for Don. When did I realize my mom was a drug dealer is when um, they took her away from my graduation. Elementary school graduation, we're singing Heal the World, and the feds turned up. It was, it was weird because I'm like, who are these random, random people, people in suits, in suits, suits trying, trying, trying to act, act like, like their, parents. their parents when I know everybody at my school? And of course, they're all undercover, sitting there waiting for it. My mom called me on like uh, my uncle's phone and go, Mo Mommy's going to be going away for a while. Uh, mommy's done some things, and uh, these people are going to take her away. For me, it was very heartbreaking, my mom leaving and having to go to jail for 14 years. So I think that pushed me a lot in skateboarding because I always wanted to stay busy because she was not there, you know? Venice to me is like almost like a second home. You know people are going to be there daily to skate and it's really to broadcast your skill because you're put on the spot in front of all the people right at the beach. So it's like, hey, you mess up, they see you mess up. You landed, they see you landed. And they're going to cheer for you or not cheer for you. Back in my day, when I was in high school, it wasn't cool to skate. I used to hide my skateboard and put my Jordans on. If you're always focusing on what everybody else do, it'll never be genuine, it'll never be unique. You have to just sometimes take that risk and go out there and fall on your face and get back up.